everybody and welcome back to more surviving mars and i'm i'm fg and we're still sort of surviving for now oh there is a meteor storm now let's check where it is please don't be on top of me okay so far it's up here in the north hopefully it stays there i've noticed that they have have lately a tendency to like sort of shift their patterns a little bit more than they used to please don't come down here use your reactor no people no 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 Upgrade to Eternal Fusion. We don't need no people in here. No, 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 no. Sectors we don't need this down. or this or this. We're good. We are good just the way it is currently. We'll just wait for the upgrade to go. Ten. Ooh. Uh-oh. -uh. Please go away, Twisty. I don't... No, 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 no. Go away. Please go away. No. Stop it. Stop it. No. Nobody likes tornadoes. Oh, I think it can't go up here. I don't think it can go... Because that's how tornadoes work, apparently. I don't think it can go up the ledge. <gasps> okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Not good. All right, next one. This is people and uh, new technologies. So yeah, we're, we're, we're sort of, see, like it's, it's sort of moving down here now. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust it, y'all. I just don't. Wait, no, I keep clicking the wrong buttons to get the... Meteor incoming. See? See what I meant? Oh wait, no, that's actually probably on the, uh, that's not actually in the base. That's probably on the sensor tower up there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sector scanned. Well, it'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Because they don't require maintenance anymore, no power, so they just they just do their thing. That also makes them magically impervious to any sort of cat catastrophe. Also, power. Now they make 300 just flat. We just get 300 flat power from this for now. This is so glorious. Anomaly analyzed. Ooh. Yes. That bugged out. Okay, he was gonna tell us what we, what you know, what was happening, but that bugged out. Uh, rejuvenation treatment, gravity engineering. Ooh, that's we need that. Research amplification, CO2 jet propulsion. Finally, shuttles, home collective, and interplanetary projects. Oh my God, they're so late. Look at how late the shuttles are. But we gotta go get them. We gotta go get them. We're gonna go. We're gonna go get uh, the service bots now. Okay, I need money because <laughs> we're gonna need we're gonna need loads and loads of secondary resources to get the service bots because they're gonna free up so much work workers because we won't have them they don't need to staff the groceries they won't need to staff the mega mall oh my god that was, I just realized that makes our mega malls like really super strong as well because they normally come with a base right i would assume at least because they come they have a low service comfort normally but then if we Sector put the service scanned. bots in because it said they have uh it said that a service bots just have yeah they just make a building operate at 100 efficiency or like performance if that is actually the case our mega malls are going to be stupidly strong like a stupidly strong holy moly also i have a feeling our university is not training people fast enough we might need a second one but we might be able to switch out one of the living quarters here once we get an arcology going in there All right i see explorer with new technologies let's go great Lead. dust storm Do approaching it. another dust storm okay great dust storm oh gosh uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. So, water will be fine, but there are two. Let's get some more storage. Because I don't like the sound of it being a great dust storm. Yeah. Cause, so, water won't be that much of a problem because we do have two extractors running here. And they're, yeah, Sector this one scanned. is running at half efficiency at the moment. So is this one. So they can compensate. 
I think they can mostly compensate for the uh, anomaly analyzed. moisture evaporators. Plus, we have a few tanks. So, if we get another one more water tower, there we go. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Ooh, holographic scanning, resilient architecture, fusion auto regulation, Martian aerodynamics, Martian born strength, and terraforming subsidies. That's a lot of stuff. Terraforming subsidies is quite a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Not bad. What's the fusion one? Oh yeah, reduces the amount of workers, which we don't need. We don't need that because we are running hours without any people at all. Then aerodynamics is better shuttles. We should we should get there we go. We should get the shuttles uh, immediately after we get the service bots, just so we can then work on expanding and actually getting tourists set up properly eventually as well. Because ideally we probably want well, ideally we want our tourists here where we have the vista thing. Oh, you're already done. Oh wow, that was so fast. Holy crap. That was a that was really fast. Whoa. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. Okay, sure. I mean why not, right? That was done really fast though. Nice. Oh crap. Research complete. Service bots. Very good. But yeah, that would be like that would be a cool thing if if they actually do another DLC. Or like just with a free update, because they they tweak the tourism with a free update, right? Uh, with the latest DLC came out, it would be cool if they could tweak the interplanetary stuff a little bit more from like oh well, not interplanetary, but intercolonary stuff between um, the, you know, that, the stuff that came with space race. That'd be really cool because I feel a lot of the stuff people don't really use it, like the whole rivalry thing and that sort of stuff, like espionage i don't think i've ever seen anybody do espionage in this sometimes you can you can get them to trade to trade re um like technologies with you research complete like that one for example and that's what i usually do because that way i can just skip some of the bits in the research tree i don't have to worry about it but i don't really do rivalry really with them I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually do that either. <laughs> okay. Um, service bots. Yeah, see, that's what I meant. Pen electronics is really expensive. It is really, really, really expensive. But it, I mean, it makes sense, but it is really expensive. Okay, we've done all the planetary anomalies. Awesome. All right, so you go. Oh, rocket launch failed. Several colonists have gathered to watch the launch. Launch. Their anticipation is quickly replaced by concern as the engines spit dust and smoke, but the rocket refuses to get off the ground. Antares 1 has failed to launch. We believe the problem lies within the ratio of liquid oxygen to liquid methane. We've compensated the issue, but it is highly recommended to perform a full maintenance on the rocket, which will cost five machine parts. Yeah, we're just going to spend the machine parts. We are so going to spend the machine parts. And then we're going to go get a cargo rocket with all the electronics we can get. So we can upgrade our service buildings. So does that work for the Mega Mall? <gasps> it worked for the Mega Mall too. Oh my god, that is so stupidly strong. I love it. Sector oh, it's scanned. Slightly broken. That is slightly broken, I think. I mean, it's been in the game for like forever, but, but, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. Okay, we'll have to see if it actually, if the service comfort actually goes up to 100, because if it does, holy moly. Okay, this one's only up to 50, but we can have it on at night as well now, so that's neat. But the building perform oh so oh wait the building performance goes down it's not the service comfort okay so the service comfort never mind the service comfort is going to stay the same but the building performance is going to be a hundred 50 is still Sector pretty okay scanned. anomaly found 
Yeah, I'm okay with that, actually. Okay. Uh, okay, we still have Dust Swarm coming on in. But we can get that research in before. Never mind. I, I confused two different settings. Or not settings, but like things there with that upgrade. But that still makes the soup. That still makes the Mega Mall really strong. Because it normally, normally that needs a whole lot of people. But yeah, this way that just makes it super duper 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 good. I kind of want to put another one in here as well. But yeah, because they can just do everything in the Mega Mall, which is so good. Every single social thing. Social relaxation, exercise, gaming, shopping, luxury, drinking, gambling, playing, food, dining. And it only, it only consumes food. So you don't have to bother with the electronic store or the art store or whoa, this music is dramatically loud. Um, Sector scanned. But it's just ridiculous. I love it. It is so ridiculous. I love it. Oh, hello. That's a lot of resources here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go grab them. And then we zoom out. Nope, we're not. Okay. For some reason, the game's like, nope, I won't let you do that right now. Anomaly Sorry. Analyzed. I can't let you do There's that. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. We've got factory AI, growth stimulators, Martian-born resilience, microfusion, plasma cutters, and water conservation system. Water conversation, uh, converse, uh, conservation system is just everything just uses less water. Yeah, is this the mega dome? It is. Okay, cool. We need that. We need that for the achievement. A mega dome with a shopping mall, and then we're gonna turn that into a freaking tourist trap. I'm gonna ruin Mars. It's gonna be great. And then we need to get started on terraforming as well at some point. Because I can't actually do anything yet. Yeah, because we haven't learned anything yet in the terraforming tree. Because I haven't started with that yet. Because that be that would be. I think that's gonna be the end goal. Tourists on a 100% terraform Mars. I think that could be cool. That could be a really cool goal for this playthrough. Because we're obviously gonna go a little bit longer. But we gotta go a little bit past getting that achievement. The achievement is just a side thing, really. Sector scanned. So, I um, mean, another concrete depot over here. Bonk. And off you go. All right, shuttles. How far away are they? Eh, we're just about halfway through. We're halfway there. Ooh. -hoo. Uh, this one is upgraded. Can't upgrade the infirmary. Upgraded the mega mall here. We've upgraded you. Okay, we've upgraded all the social buildings that we can upgrade. Or like the, the relaxation buildings, comfort buildings, whatever you want to call them. Service buildings. That's the word. And then we need to figure out what we're going to put in the middle here. Because I'm not sure if I want a water reclamation system. I don't know. Could also put a school spire in there and then take down Sector that school scan. and put another nursery in there. I don't know how full this nursery is. Not full at all. Our, for some reason, the colonists are not having a lot of babies. There's a lot of stuff clumped up here. Holy moly. Maybe I want this instead. Because actually, come to think of it, we can just... Um, we can just power a new colony via fusion reactors now. And then we just need moisture, moisture evaporators. But we also have uh, underground water here to get this done. Alright, great. Da oh my god, it is so dusty. And that noise. Oh, ooh. I hate that noise. Ooh, that's like. Mm, no. <laughs> like. Sector scanned. This low, bassy rumble. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> A leak. Oh boy. Oh no, we're leaking, we're leaking power, which is totally fine. Okay, so uh, our oxygen, we have, oof. Now we can compensate, we can compensate. 
29 hours. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. It's like, what, 30 times 7? And we can even compensate a leak if we can relatively fast get that to stop. So that's good. We're just waiting for the jet propulsion to get done eventually. Wow, we have a lot of geniuses. We have three geniuses. Like, no, we have one genius right there. I always keep thinking a genius is 50, but it's 150 research, isn't it? Or something like that. Oh, we've got some person that doesn't have a job. Sector scanned. Oh, your youth, unemployed. Is our university full? Is that it? No, you can go to university. Go get to go. Yeah, there you go. Go to university. Get trained. Get trained. We don't have many jobs open. Do we? We could start up a polymer factory already. <laughs> Should we do that maybe? Because we don't have that yet, right? No. Yeah, let's go get a polymer factory started up here. Let's do that and we'll go connect it up here. Let's go get polymers started. Get get those engineers working. Because that's like the easiest thing. And then the next thing that we'll do after that is the machine parts factory. Uh, the only thing that we'll need over here. Ideal, oops, ideally. Research complete. Is a fuel. achieved. Oh, scan all sectors. Sectors, perfect. There we go. That means we've got the shuttles now done, which is great. Not that they can fly right now, but we can work on building the shuttle hub. Right. Research we want it somewhere where we've got the. Like right here. We want to make it somewhere where they have access to fuel, like really close. Ooh, gold computer. We got three genius applicants. Overcharge amplification. Awesome. There's a leak. Resources are low. Okay, so passenger rockets. Oh boy. Who are the who are the geniuses? Uh let's filter. Perk. Where are the geniuses? Oh god. Okay. So theoretically they're in there. But are they on this rocket? I don't think they are. Okay, matching applicants. You're not what we need. Rugged enthusiast workaholic, yes. Hippie survivor composed, yes. Latin religious. Survivor. Ooh, a medic. Yeah, but that's 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 still you. We're still the one that we don't want. <laughs> Okay, hippie. Hippie is always okay. Hippie is just like being with plants, which is nice. You're a rugged. You're sexy. Yes. You're a hippie gamer composed. Yes. Lona sex. Lona is. Mm, Lona is not so good because we're we're going for bigger domes now. It's fun. It's fine at the start. Okay, where the heck? Okay, so I wonder, gamer. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what the geniuses have wrong with them. Cause they might have them. They must have some really big flaws. But I don't. I don't see them at all. Hmm. I'll take that off. Do, do, do. Oh, that's a that's a tourist. That's a tourist. Hmm, we're getting our first tourists now. Still not the still don't get the Okay, let's do this. Let's turn that off. Oh, there we go. You're a whiner. Okay. Vegan, you're a lazy genius, but that's okay. You know what? I'll take you anyways. I'll take the three geniuses. Because even if they don't work and the officer will not work, 
because we don't have any any security stations i still take them just because of the free um just for the free research that we're gonna get wow so many leaks oh boy See, that's the problem i wish we had unbreakable pipes uh, but even with a leak, we should be fine. Even with a city leak, we should be fine. Because I guess that storm should be over soon. There we go. Oh, boy. Yeah. And then we've got this. Let's open up both of those work shifts. And then we'll do... We'll just put a polymer depot here so the drones don't have to carry it too far. I don't know if the drones can go past here, but they can just go through here through the drone as well. Drone through the dome as well. Resources are low. Uh, I two machine. Ah, uh, yeah, these are these two are a little bit low. It will give us money. Wait, what? We will send. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder if they have them. If they have reworked them at least a little bit, at least the trades, because those trades are actually kind of useful. They're not rubbish how the trades used to be. I mean, they're still rubbish, like trading for secondary resources. But at least you can trade like stuff for money and research points now. At least that's popped up. People st like other colonies still rarely ever trade in polymers or machine parts or electronics like that they are offering. They usually they are usually happy to buy them, but they give you like crap. It's like, hey, I'll take fifty of your electronics for like, or fifty of your machine parts for like seventy metal, and it's like <laughs> the worst ever. <laughs> it's like no uh, planetary view. I think that was. Who was that? Was that Blue Sun? Oh no, landed rocket. All right, but well, we've we've almost got this, and then we can hopefully do that. Because this is yeah, we do have a trade pad now. Okay, good. No, no research to be done. No, no research to be done. But now that we've got the shuttles going, we can start expanding. So we're going to move you down here, plant you, and then we're going to go start with the universal depot down here. Uh, we don't want rare metals. We don't want fuel on these. Everything else New is fine. Have arrived. Okay. And then go back to planetary view, contact, trade. We will set 50. Yeah. I will set 50 concrete for some money. Heck yeah. Absolutely. No questions asked. I mean, obviously, it's also going to use the fuel, but I mean, we make the fuel anyways, right? So. Why not? How's this looking now? Why are you working in here? Is this full? The farm is full. Okay. Well, they'll, they'll reshuffle eventually. Because we'll put the Megadome and we'll put a... Uh, uh, when we put the Megadome, we will definitely put in uh, a Mega... Uh, or, or a Mall in there as well. Yeah, we're getting 600 research now from the geniuses. That's ridiculous. Holy crap. That's a lot of research. So we're just getting like 1100 flat now, even though for some reason it says 1200. But maybe that's maybe that's because it's also counting the research buildings, which, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it were to actually count, uh, count those. We only need four engineers and one medic now. Ooh, getting there. So what are we training the others in then? Because four plus one equals five, not ten. Hmm. very very sus okay i'm just gonna go and wait for this rocket to actually also do its trade so we have loads of money and then we can order 
lots of parts from Earth. Because the Megadome is going to use a lot of stuff. How much is it? A lot. But we're not there yet. Here we go. We're going to do it like that. We're going we're gonna to start working on it. Should I outsource? Yeah. Yeah, I want to spend a little bit more. Ooh. Gold computer. One Mega Trigon Dome prefab oh oh you're just gonna give me a prefab aren't you oh Ooh. does that count for the achievement though hmm does it count for the achievement well, you know what? We're gonna find out. Research. So complete. this is gonna be completely free. Right, artificial muscles. Now our drones can carry two resources instead of just one, which is great. Ooh, I wonder if that counts. Because if that counts, holy moly. Alright, let's go get the shuttle spills. Uh I feel like Pegasus has to return to us first. For that to do its thing. Okay, so we, what we're going to do first down here is actually build the power. Wait. Because the thing is, if I put the prefab down, they're just going to build the prefab, like, immediately. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't build it. Don't build it. Don't build it. Okay. Okay. Just, nope. Is it the construction nanites that are doing that? Oh, cheeky. Cheeky, I don't want you to do that right now. Uh, I want you to focus on this first. Please? So I can get power going and then we need to get everything else sorted as well. But well, we'll see how it goes. All right. The door to summer. Do you want to live forever? Apparently the clients of Eternal Summer, a large cryonics company, attend to do so. Fearing that Earth could be destroyed by a cataclysm, the ten richest customers of Eternal Summer have paid for a rocket to host their cryopods and has launched towards Mars, where they are relying on your colony to resupply, resupply the Cosmic Arc. The Eternal Summer rocket will regularly ask for permission to land. If you resupply it, you will receive 150 funding, 150 million funding upon its launch. Space is a harsh place. We won't leave anyone alone. It doesn't sound appealing. We'll do it for free. Except no, no. It's they want flipping uh, electronics, and you get 150 money for it, which is ridiculous. It is so not worth it to do that. Oh, I need a drone hub. I don't have drone hubs. I don't know how to make drone hubs yet. Well. All right, uh, cargo rocket, prefab, drone. I need moisture vaporators down there as well, don't I? Oh, dang it. All my money is going to go to that, not this, which is what I need. I need to make some more money. But we'll, we'll be able to start making money at least now because uh, we've got the uh, rich metals down here. Yeah, I think I think it's just the uh, construction nanites doing their job right now, which is funny, a bit silly, but funny regardless. Okay, uh, there. Might as well start extracting concrete down here as well. And then we're just building that for now. All right, concrete, concrete. And then large dumping site over there. What do you need? Yeah, polymers. Uh, do we have any polymers on the map? Do we have loads of polymers on the map somewhere? Well, we've got 11 down here. That's that's not insignificant. Okay, we're going to go and dump them over here then. Yeah, we just need to wait for that uh, rocket to arrive. 
And at least we've got uh, we've got the transport shuttle. So we also spent some on that as well. And then hopefully we'll get this going. So we are making five per day. Polymer maintenance is 0.7. So we should we should accumulate loads, which is good. So yeah, so far I'd say so good. But we're also going to need more to actually do the amplification, like the, the independence update here, don't we? Yeah, I love how the construction now just, they're just slowly building the stuff there. That's kind of funny, even though they're not allowed to. Okay, it's got to be a high priority as well. Okay. But so far, so good, I'd say. And with that, no, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Take care and bye-bye.